folks, welcome to Maverick Gilmore's channel. Today I'm, I'm doing a little something uh, different than having to make a spacer or bushy, whatever you want to call it, to remove the barrel from a, uh, what is that thing I'm working on? A Ruger Mini 14. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't have the all the spacers I need, so I'm making a spacer here to make sure that it clamps into the, the barrel vice good, make sure the receiver don't twist on us. So uh, right now I'm going to Take this piece of brass and finish milling it off to make it fit the receiver. And then we'll go over there a few minutes and uh, show you what we're doing with it, okay? Anyway, just hang on. It's going to take a little while to get this, get this milled out. Okay, y'all, I've got my part made here. This is uh, a chunk of brass. It's like a half inch thick. Oh, what is it? About an inch and a half wide, I guess. I'll tell you exactly what I've got here. It's a uh, you know, three inch wide, about two inches long that way. Anyway, um, I've notched out, milled out a slot for the receiver here so that it fits pretty well smooth and make a good contact. Um, and hopefully, we've got enough pressure points here that it will not be an issue. You're know, turning the receiver off. Keep everything locked down tight so it don't uh, don't damage the receiver. So I'm gonna place this uh, place our brass needle made brass spacer right here and get my good old heavy duty trusty barrel wrench up under here. And you notice I've got some tape on here. I use, I put tape on the uh, you know on the barrel wrench so that we don't mar anything. We do what we can to protect the firearm as much as possible. And if you didn't know that, the, uh, the barrel vise I have on the table here, we use a rosin, it's a powder material, on the, on the barrel and on the barrel bushings to hold the barrel tight. Um, the rosin helps, helps give it a little more grip so that the barrel does not rotate in the vise. <clears throat> and it's all tightened down really well, evenly. And we're going to get our reach over here, see if we can get this keeper straight. Get that even as much as I can. Let's see what I've got here. Put it centered a little bit better. Hang on a second, we'll get it. Right, right, right there. Oh, I know I'm a good solid flat part of the uh, of the receiver on the bottom. A brass bushing taking up the space on the top so that it distributes the, the force evenly. Everything is, is snug down tight now. <sighs> Alright, let's see what happens now. By golly. Alright, there we go. And we have now just loosened the barrel on our uh, Ruger Mini 14. We're going to replace the barrel, put it back on, put the other barrel on the receiver the same way. So uh, anyway, if you've never seen such a gadget, that gives you an idea on what it looks like to put a barrel in a vise. And in this case, we've had to make a uh, particular spacer to be able to make good solid contact on the receiver and not damage anything. Okay, here we go. That was just a, a scrap piece of brass that I've used. I got notches in it here. I actually used this as an experimental piece several years ago making a grip cap for a, uh, a gun I was working on. But uh, anyway, it worked out good. Now, now permanently I have a, a spacer I can use for taking a receiver off of a Ruger Mini 14. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, next week we'll try to find something else different for you. Thanks for watching.